So firstly, what you want to do is go on your web browser and search up Rufus. And then you just want to click on this first link here and scroll down. And then you just want to click this one here. Now all you want to do is press this button here, change it to download, click download and select Windows 10 and then select 22H2, hit continue and again and hit download. Now there's two ways of doing this part. You can either use the ISO and put it onto a USB or you can just open the ISO if you don't have a USB and then select 22H2, hit continue and again and hit download. Now there's two ways of doing this part. You can either use the ISO and put it onto a USB or you can just open the ISO if you don't have a USB. Okay, so to demonstrate what you need to do, I'm going to be doing this on a virtual machine. But you want to do this exactly the same. Wait for it to open. It might say that it's going to restart the setup, but that's fine. Okay, so when you get to this stage, you just want to hit this and you want to keep nothing. You can keep your files if you want to, but the installation might not work correctly. So just to be safe, I'm going to do nothing. Okay, so when it's done, just hit install and then just wait for this to finish. Okay, so now you want to open up Edge. Okay, now what you want to do is type Atlas OS, select Windows 10, and download both of these. Now you just want to extract these both, and now what you want to do, just open this up, just double click this, hit run, yes on that, and yeah, all done. Now you just want to restart your PC. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to extract this, open it up, and now what you want to do, go to your virus and threat protection, turn all of it off. Okay, so now what you want to do, click here, go to your downloads, go in here, and open this file. That's in the folder that we extracted earlier, then just hit next, just let it do its thing. And yeah, within half an hour, you'll be in Atlas OS. Okay, and here we are on the desktop. And as you can see, 48 processors. We have one gigabyte of RAM. So yeah, this is going to give you a huge performance increase, especially if you're running older or low-end hardware. That's basically all there is to it. That's how you install Atlas OS. Now I'm going to show you how to install Atlas OS with a USB drive. Okay, so we're going to plug in our USB drive and connect it. What you want to do, download 22H2 if you haven't already. Then when you download it, you want to select it. So you're going to select it like this. You're going to press open and then you want to press start. Now it's obviously going to wipe the drive so make sure you have everything backed up. And then when you've done that, you just want to go to Atlas OS and download these two. When you've put 22H2 on here, you just want to copy the files in here like I've done. And then it'll work basically the exact same way. You're going to open it up from here. And then select the playbook from here. And then do the rest of the stuff. And yeah, that's it. That's how you install it from USB. So just clean install 22H2. Make sure you have all the stuff on your USB drive. If you don't have internet, what you want to do you're going to have to go find the driver that you need from another PC or a laptop or something like that and you're going to need a USB drive and then you want to put the driver files onto your USB drive and then install them onto your main machine that needs the drivers and that should fix it and that's about all there is to it so if you need any help or anything like that let me know in the comments down below and yeah that's going to be the end of the video make sure to like subscribe if it helped you and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video